Welcome back Vikings to yet another episode of my Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord Game of Thrones mod playthrough. We are exactly where we left off last time, right outside of Castle Rock. And you may have noticed already that uh, I have a new banner. I installed the CC Banners mod which allows me a lot more banners. And luckily they also have the uh, Game of Thrones banners which means that I can finally have the squid. Now you might have noticed already that I have a red squid. They have a yellow. And you know why? That is because we are the new generation of Iron Ironborns, we shall bring the Ironborns back to the glory they once had and the glory they deserve. We are gonna march on Lannisport in uh, as soon as possible, actually. However, I do play this mod over at my Twitch channel, Twitch link in the bio, you should all check it out. And there, I actually managed to capture one of Daenerys' dragons. And let me tell you, I want a dragon more than ever. An Ironborn riding on the back of a dragon, conquering Vesteros. I cannot think of a better story than that however that is a little bit down the line because our troops right now is very very thin due to the fact that we've defended castle rock as heavily as we have and i think lannisport is going to be a very hard city to take because it has 1295 defenders we need a absolutely monumental army if we want to defend that one thing that i am thinking of that i can do though is make sure that my castle rock base is as uh, fortified as it can be and then we can travel to vessels Esso, sorry. And accidentally, we could just try and throw a javelin at Daenerys, make her a bit mad, engage in combat, and hopefully take her out. However, I think that is way too early. We can only have, let's see, 165. I think before I can do that, I need at least 260 troops in my personal army. I'm not going to be able to bring any troops over there. So uh, that is where we are going to go. But before we do that, we are just going to keep on building keep on building and i don't think that i've taken a peek not the garrison but manage the castle it has zero money that is not acceptable put ten thousand in there can we put someone to uh, govern here though it's a westerland castle so we should have a westerland jamie lannister is western isn't he jamie you've been a great fighter lad you're gonna govern here now make sure the loyalty stays up let me just see if it actually helps castle Loyalty, it should be owner's culture, governor's culture plus one. So governor culture is good. That at least puts the loyalty to uh, plus 0 0.7, which means that it's not going to decrease. And I also want to make sure that I upgrade every single thing that we can upgrade. Make Castle Rock as strong as it can be. And then we are going to change it from, uh, we're going to change it to train Melita. We want more Melita troops. Make sure that is upgraded too. Everything training fields, get that up. All right. Let's hope that Jamie is a good, uh, is a good governor, though. I'm not so sure about it, but what other choice do I have? I have Tyrion, though, don't I? Wait, Tyrion, where are you? What are you, Tyrion? Uh, so he's a governor at the crag. Oh. Oh, I forgot. So you have Raven Tree Hall. We have the crag, which is loyalty. Oh, loyalty is very high on that one. All right, we are going to keep him there because that's also a Westerland name. Peter Baelish is a Raven... Oh, wow! So they don't like him. Raven Tree Hall, where is that situated again? Excuse me, where is my uh, third Derridus? Right here. And that is the Riverlands. So we would need a Riverland companion. Let's see. Alive, preferably. We want a Riverlands. Am I blind? Should be an R. Huh? Wanderer. Valerian. Tuirush. Sonori. North. Crownlands. Am I blind? Riverlands. Edmund Tully. Of course, of course. Yeah, I must be blind. It must be staring me right in the face. My god. All right, let's just go up Nord, Vakim, Bravosi, Canalland, Dorn, 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 Free Folk, Free Folk, G I A L, uh, North, uh, Norvishi, Stormlands, the Reach, the Riverlands. Oh, it's that river. What? There's no companions. Oh! Oh no, Bromla the Blackwater, he's dead. 
the only available re okay well it's not that bad though because the crag is uh, as we know doing very well on loyalty so we'll just let the uh, raven tree hall do his thing never mind raven tree hall is not doing that good is it let's see loyalty i mean they're stagnant so that's okay they're stagnant and how much am i paying every single okay so i'm making 500 schmeckles not too bad. Benji Stark is here. Everyone who is here is here. Now you're a great joy. Listen. <sighs> Still no children. You know? It's uh, starting to uh, to become a problem. Your uh, your charm is literally non-existent. Oh, you do have okay, fair enough. Fair enough. So she does have the fertile perk. Can we hunt down these guys? Just out here, just Looking at us like we are a target. Wait, I've never realized what the name of this village is. I am not going to say it out loud. I want ads on my video, but still. Hostile raid, yes. She'll teach these fools. What happens when you go against the north? Yes, I'll take that. Anything close to 5k, I'll let him go. No more chopping heads for me. Chopping heads, I have learned, is not a... It's not a great way to conquer any land whatsoever. Although Eric the Giant Slayer, as you know, he's a ruthless, ruthless Viking. He has to think smart sometimes if he wants to take over. Oh my lord, there's something we should discuss with you. What we did back there to the village. I don't want no part of it. Oh, shut up. Benji. Man, this guy, I swear. Oh. Can we get companion Jamie Lannister, who is separated from me in battle, is currently... Well, he's the goddamn governor. Of course he's here. I hope he's here. Otherwise, I get so angry. Oh, come on. You could have sieged us. Do we have anyone nearby which we can uh, call in for some aid? Ooh, that is perfect. Because they are stronger than us. How much stronger? Still remains to be... Uh, to see you. Oh, I'm not a coward though. They're the cowards. They're running away from me. Come here. Come here and fight me. We have one for Charm as well. Three relations with the neighbor settlement owner clan in your hideout. 20% hiring uh, troops. Cost of mercenary troops. Uh, that one engineer. Oh, wow. We have so many engineering skills available. 33 hit points to rams and siege towers. 12 build speed for projects in governed towns. 50% ammunition to ranged troops when besieging. 25 build speed for projects on... Oh. I like that one. I like it a lot. 25% damage dealt to walls during siege bombardment. 10% damage dealt to shields by your troops. 10% accuracy to your siege engines during a siege bombardment in the governed settlements. Crossbow damage, that one, and that one. All right, perfect. Let's hunt these guys down. What do you want, stranger? Uh, not much. I, I just want everything you have on you, and I want everyone as prisoner. You know? Um, We are first going to meet him in honorable combat, though, just to give him a slither of hope. You know, now he might think, oh, I am going to take this guy, and I'm going to be like, nay, stop it, you idiot. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's right. Wait, where did my... My shield doesn't have my sigil. What is this sorcery? It should... Have I been scamboozled? Alright, we're going to war. We're going to war and he's gonna learn. He's gonna learn what happens when you pick a fight with me. And look at this, 238 cavalry. I absolutely I have to, I have to admit, I absolutely despise this map. I think it's so boring, nonetheless. We are just gonna go full on strength on these guys. That is not a line formation. All right, and we're gonna get these guys, just join some random troops. Commander is mounted. I should be there. He's also mounted. Men helvete da. Are you all mount- Oh, I'm doing the same guys. 
Ah, they're all mounted. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, lads. There we go. All right. Get ready, man. Let's teach these imbeciles a lesson of respect. Let's teach them what happens when they act stupid. And face us in battle. I want to uh, take a little gander, though. I want to see if they're going to charge at us or if they're going to stand back and try and take a defensive stance. Soldier! Mounted archer! Cut them down! Cut them down, mounted archers. I see a couple of cavalrymen, but I don't... I, I think they're going to go up into that hill over there. That is why I, I, what I call they're going to do. Hear me! Get move! Warrior! Move up! Hear me! Forward. I'm going to send, uh, send forward my troops regardless. Oh, we have one lad coming over bravely. Oh, wow. That's a lot of lads. Okay, they're all coming over. All right. Oh, my helvete, you jävla idiot. Soldiers! Archers! Hear me! Engage! Warriors! Cut them down! Cut them down, boys! Double time! Oh, come here. Come here then. Pay the iron price, you imbecile. Oh, you're on my team, that's true. I can't see the difference. I can't tell the difference. It's going too fast. Are you guys on my team or what? It's on my team. He's on my team. I'm sorry if I hit you accidentally, guys. Just gonna chop away. The hammer of rubbers is coming in handy. Get out of here, horses. There we go. Onwards, boys. Smash their brains in. Gotta get my archers in position too. Gotta make my way through here. It's a goddamn stampede. It's a goddamn stampede. Charge forward! Close in, lads! Ah! Oh, damn! Oh, they're doing a last stand here. I'm gonna stay a little bit in the back. I don't intend on dying just yet. I intend on keeping my head for a wee bit longer. Look at this, though. They're routing. The coward swine. They only have 88. Oh, are they getting back up? They are. Come on! Hey! Get over here! Hear me! Onwards! Double time! Regroup! Warriors! Move! Move! Here they come. Here comes the rest of them. Oh, that's just a band of peasants, though. Shields up! Cavalry! Charge at them! No one leave them breathing! There we go. Look at that. Look at all that green, baby. They're probably paying the ultimate price for being idiots. Should have joined when they had the chance. Is there an enemy horse archer here? Is that what I saw? Who is the enemy? Who is the enemy? Hey, he's dead. All right. I don't know who I'm hitting. Everyone stab the bush. We have a bush camper here. 
Hey, come on. Oh, really? Yay! Victory! Wow, we took out six and a half times more than them. Only for seven influence. I would feel more honored if you spat in my face. You are my prisoner, and I'm gonna take you guys. My personal armor is really weak, though. I'm gonna take all this. We have to stop by a city when we see one. Let's see. Golden Tooth is being besieged. I might as well use good of this army if I can. If I can make it over there and defend Golden Tooth before it falls. How much to replenish? 22. Yeah, see that? Hope we hold cohesion until it's done. Yep, I'll give it away. Look at that. 326. Easy peasy. 6.4 influence for saving their butts. And 10% of the li Stop. I yield. Yeah, I do not yield. I know why though. I have uh, I have the least troops in that army, so it's actually quite understandable. We need to do something about that. Take all the prisoners we can and then uh press the noble default. Ooh, I know the noble one. It's where you don't have to wear anything. Now what we need to do very carefully is uh, recruit more troops so that our personal parties uh, more than 70. My god, 70 troops follow me around. I am just ready to be ambushed. We are going to get as many Westerlands as we can. Why? There is nothing better than beating the Westerlands with Westerland troops. I mean, we're just throwing throwing it in the face that they're all they're all just um, turning on each other. Oh, you! S I swear, you guys, you could have left some for me. Come on. I thought we were friends, but I guess I was completely wrong. Oh, High Rock and Rockford, though they're they're both uh, they're both mine. And they're both castle villages, so they should be absolutely fuming with recruitable troops. We'll see. We'll be uh, answered right now. Uh, that was not very overwhelming. I will... T oh, what? They barely have any food. What is going on? I was expecting more from you guys. What about Rockford? Two. Oh, come on. I almost forgot, by the way. Did I go and... Yeah, I did go get Ancelli, didn't I? Is this guy gonna meet me? Yours is not a face I know. Oh, what is, is your he... name, stranger? Uh, I'm glad you asked, because I am Eric. Eric the Giant Slayer. And I am here to slay your throat. Surrender? I think not. Our armies will clash. Oh, I should have said allow a safe passage and then just attack him anyways. I mean, is there any better thing than to give somebody hope and then just crush that hope right in front of their eyes? I could think of nothing better. Nonetheless, though, we have only cavalry. My god. We have 12 infantry. Look at these guys. Uh, <laughs> and uh, three archers. Well, there's only two standing here. I don't know where the third one is. Oh, it's Benji. Okay. All right. Fair enough. I understood why they did not want to face us. Now, we actually have quite a nice little personal army. They're all... They're all horsemen. Are they gonna attack us, though? Cavalry! Infantry! Attack! I'm gonna send all my infantry in. Hear me! Onward! Horsemen! No, you Soldier know what I'm gonna send you guys in, too. And you know what I'm gonna send you guys, too. You guys, follow me! Let's teach these young summer children a good old lesson. Look at that. They have... Together, they have three cavalrymen. And we have 69, which is very nice. We're just going to stroll through these guys the good old-fashioned way. We are going to let them keep their heads, though. Why? Not because I want to. Purely because I want uh, as much good relation as possible. Because as you know, I do intend on creating my own kingdom very soon, no matter the outcome. Oh, come on. I mean, come on. There you go. Ah! Here comes the cavalry! Come on, lads! Dispose of these horse, uh, these archers! Yay! 244, not too bad. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. I see. I, see. I, might, I need a longer hammer. That's what I need. I need to. I need an extendable shaft on my hammer. This is just not cutting it. 
Come on, I want one more. Thank you. All right, the rest is for my boys. I'll take a couple more with me. Absolutely beautifully done. They still have some men, though. Now, who, who are these Lannisters are my enemy? This guy. Damn it. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. You know, get the rest of them, yeah. yeah! Dispose of them! They're worth nothing! Should probably watch my tongue, because these will be my future neighbors if I do create my city in L uh, my kingdom through uh, Lannisport. Alright, well done guys, well done. I think I just hatched a plan in my head as well how I'm gonna get the dragons. I am gonna go beyond the wall. Yes, I know. It's very boring and very repetitive, but it's a great way to farm influence. We're gonna farm up a ton of influence. And then we are gonna create not the biggest army ever, but maybe like six, seven hundred troops. We're gonna try and su sustain that all the way to Essos. We're gonna find Daenerys. Hopefully she's out and about. We'll raid a village. Starting the war will take a massive influence hit. And then uh, we'll uh, take her dragon. I don't see anything that could go wrong in that plan. Like, what what could possibly go wrong? Uh, even I mounted. You know what? I'll take all these guys. Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh, I forgot. I need to stop by a city. Is there any city here who will have me, though? I don't think so. They're, they're all opposed to me. One thing that I do need, though, is some uh, goddamn more footmen. We'll go to this, this village, which I won't name. Oh, uh, it's been... Oh, wait, I looted it. <laughs> I almost forgot. Oh, wow. Yep. Let's not do that. Oh, are you actually gonna... What, what, are we are we gonna or are we not gonna? Are you gonna back me up or not? Are you on my team or no? Oh, this guy. Who's this guy? Oh, he's a dead guy. That's who he Yours is. is not a face well, remember this face. Thank you. I'll take these guys and these guys. Can take 57 prisoners now, though. Thank you. Some castle rock guards are always welcome to my party. Oh. Thank you. Take everyone that I can. Take all the other loot. Now, we need to get out of here. This is not a good place for us. If they assemble any sort of army, we are completely screwed. We have nowhere to go. Because there is no escape from here, so... Let's try and just sneak our way past. Hopefully our ally is going to join us. Get out of here, buddy. It's not a nice place to be, trust me. I've been in too many dead enders. There are a lot of nobles running around, though, considering we are so far away from the north. We have a lot of men following us around. Now, my great question to you is, is Castle Rock, is it safe? Are all these castles safe? That is what I need to know before I head on out. So the garrison is not the strongest. How's it going with the castle, though? All right, food is up. Militia is up every single day. It seems like garrison is up. Security, prosperity. There is. We're not losing on anything here, so that's good. Does not look like they need more money either. So Castle Rock, I feel confident leaving that. That is the only castle which I will absolutely discard my journey north and head back and defend it with my life. That is the one castle that I want to keep. What happens to these others? Obviously, I don't want to lose them, but they're not as important. The Krag is kind of important, though. It's, it's, it's in a nice spot. Here are all my Unsullied. Ooh. I am very tempted now. I'm gonna take these guys. And then we are gonna... Let's see. Tier. I'm gonna put some low-tier troops in here. We 
still have way too many counts. Let's see. I mean, we can put some troops in here and just come back and get them, though. All right, there you go. I want to put all my Unsullied in Castle Oak. Aw, uh, he has escaped. How dare he? You sneaky, sneaky little bugger. I will just hope our uh, our nobles will stay loyal and defend uh, my other castle if they if it comes down to that. There we go. Now I feel a lot more confident leaving this behind. Now the grand question is, should I just travel lightly? But I am so slow though. Do you guys have any? Let's see. We, I'll take all the the horsemen out of here. Let's see. Okay, so we can take some Westerland squires. Northern Mounted Archer. Take all these guys. Riverland Horsemen. Thank you very much. Okay, that makes us 35. Still not a strong army, and I see a lot of enemies outside. Right, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna call in a favor. We're gonna call in a little favor. Who is the cheat? But they're so far away. Um, I will bring uh, you along, just so that we can uh, manage to get to the uh, get, get beyond the wall. I'm just gonna keep all the other units in my castles. We're not losing that much money either. Hey, okay. Oh, she told you join me. All right, now they should at least leave us alone for a little bit. And I will just keep them for as long as we can. We'll recruit troops on the way, we'll sell off loot on the way, we'll head beyond the wall, we'll farm influence, and we'll get that good forsaken dragon. We need, we need a dragon. Trust me, the dragon is so OP. You can literally, single-handedly, siege and take King's Landing. That is obviously not true, but it does 2,000. You'll see, you'll see. Just wait until I get a dragon. My quest now is purely getting a dragon. Lannisport is going to be so much easier with a dragon by our side. Crush those walls and just uh, breathe fire through them. It's a great plan. It's an absolute bulletproof uh, plan as well. It's not like Daenerys is going to put mu up much of a fight anyways. Huh. Thank you. Just slowly make our way upwards. Recruit on the way. We're already in safe water, so I don't think there should be too many enemies over here. We might also ditch her soon. Recruit. Yes, some infantry. Infantry is actually uh, what I want for this. I don't want too many cavalrymen beyond the wall. They don't do that well against the whites. Because the whites are just bunch up infantrymen. Perfect. We'll also try and get some giants while we're up there. Stop by the twin, we'll get rid of some loot. Lighten our load a bit. High Rock and Rockford are making five schmickles combined every day. That is horrible. Today, alright, you guys got 98,000. Can take all of that. All of this. And... Probably all of this too, yup. You know what? I'm actually gonna take that for myself and sell the old one. Sell the light harness. What do I have too much of though? What do I not need? I am gonna keep the fish, the grain, and the animals. We'll sell the rest. And we are below carrying capacity. Nice! I sold the cheese. Ooh. Perfect. All right, we're going to let her go. Your settlement high rock is under attack. You son of a gun. Oh, the Westerland. All right, I, I am confident, though. It's defended by 361 troops. The only one that I'm worried about is the Krag. Okay, it's got 226 defenders, though. What about the Raven Tree Hall? 260. Okay, so it's not completely defenseless. It still stands a chance if it's under siege. It will be able to hold off at least for a little bit. While I'm on my little um, 
excursion here. A courier arrives from the Swift. They offer you 2,400. Yeah, why not? Is that Rob Stark? It is. How are you doing, buddy? Does he need help with something? My greetings to you. Oh, dude, you need to fix your tooth. It looks rotten. Yeah, it's about the war with the Westerlands. We need to tie up some of their forces. A relatively small force moving quickly through their lands and raiding their villages should be a good distraction. Their lords will need... <sighs> good to see that you you can hit three villages. They won't be able to ignore the kind of damage. I'll give you 15,000 for doing that. 3,000 for every extra after the one. Oh, that is tempting though, but is it actually worth it? Because we would have to go... F you know what? I'm sorry, Rob. I'm sorry. I'm just not going to do it. I, I should not have said yes to that. I am on a mission. I'm getting a dragon. I'll raid the other villages later, but how about that? I'll raid them with my dragon, okay? Aw, more and more escaping from a party. How dare they? Don't they want to join on up be beyond the wall? Bunch of cowards. Alright, we're nearing Winterfell. We'll also see if they have a tournament. We'll only do it if they have a great prize. So I'm tired of these northerners being so... Uh, Shitty with their, their their prices for the tournaments. They have money. They just pretend like they don't. Arena joins at a five lords with renowned fighting skill, and for that they'll give us a bone crusher worth absolutely nothing. I am gonna do a tournament though, only because it's one we won at the start, which means it's gonna go by quickly and be a great time. Nice. Too easy. Damon Sand, well, hello there. Four v four situation. Of course, Yara is on the opposite team. I swear, she must die. Too easy. All right, Gendry. Let's see what you got. Are you anything like your father? No, you're not. Oh, yes, you are. Wow, he actually fought well. I'm surprised. Surprised and proud. Oh, I tried to do a trick shot. Oh, I did it. Yeah, Benji. You're better off fighting dead things, honestly. 1500, easy made money. Do they have anything nice here, though? Let's see. What do they have up in the north? Sansa's dress. Wait, what? Don't I just look absolutely fabulous? Uh, let's see. W Yara, what would you look like? With Sansa's dress. Uh, like grandma. Okay. Yeah, uh, we'll be on our way. I want to see though. Do they have any nice Valyrian steel? Ooh, that is a very nice sword, isn't it? Ooh, that's a great one. But 84,000, I ain't gonna spend that kind of money now. It will be there though. Nobody's gonna be able to afford that. Are you kidding me? All these poor nobles. So we're up to 134. Just recruit some uh, North men and some uh, Night Watch men. Look at that, only 20 more. We'll head on over to White Ranch. And I think our next stop is going to be Snowwood, Queen's, Queen's Head. And then um, we're going to be out and about. I'm losing a lot of money, am I? Uh, ain't I? High Rock is still under attack. You can take that, that's okay. We just gotta make sure that we don't encounter too big of a white party. We gotta make sure that we don't... ...overestimate our own capabilities. 
We're losing a thousand every single day. I don't want to go down on my garrison sizes either, though. That's my main problem here. Because if I do, I would have been able to save that. But then again, they're in literally in the middle of enemy territory. It's okay. We'll gain a lot of loot from this anyways. From this little um, vacation resort. This little e excursion. We're filled up. Arena. Join seven lords. Let's see what they offer us. Scapel. Screw it. I want the renown. Ah, oh, horseback. Really? Don't they know I'm a sniper with this? A very inaccurate sniper, apparently. My god! Doing damage to everyone. There you go! Bada bing, bada boong! Let's see what you got. Ah, I'm a hell of it, though. Oh, come on. Seven damage, really? Come on, take each other. Oh, my God. Finally! That took way too long! Another 1v1 one -one situation. Come and fight me, Night's Watch Ranger Master. 64. Oh, wow. That's right, that's right. Sit down, boy. Sit down! Okay, Yara, let's see what you got. Is that all you got? Is that all you have there? Yeah. Listen to the crowd, they're going absolutely bananas. We've met before, haven't we? So that's the last time that I ever have to see your puny face again. That is the most I've ever worked for 988 schmeckles. My god, seven lords and that's what they gave us. A shitty sword. Oh, let it slide this time. One thing that I do want to check though is how far away are we from actually leveling up clan tier. We're actually quite far away. We will also be getting a lot of renown from taking out white parties. A lot of great loot. So this is only a win-win situation. Just gonna make sure that we don't over commit to this. We have to pick and choose very wisely. 250, that's gonna be my limit. 250. A white army of 250. Uh, let's see. Night King, are you too much of a coward to face me out, out in the woods, on your home territory? Where are you? Where are you, you coward? I'm right here in front of you. Are you going to do something about it? Or are you just going to cower away in the face of real challenge? You're just going to attack a bunch of free folk who don't know what they're doing. Don't know left from right. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Hello. I'm in Helvete. Hello, traveler. <laughs> Hope you brought your purse. See, we're what you might call brigands. And I'm afraid we can't let you pass without paying us a bit of coin. Okay, well, I appreciate the fact that you've learned how to speak the human language. Second off, you seem like a very polite guy. So I'll make sure to cut off your head first. I'll be a, I'll be an honorable gentleman in this case. Souls onwards! Um, footman, hear me! It does look like we have uh, some archers though, so let's see. Oh, we have actually quite a lot of uh, cavalry as well. I want to keep my cavalry back here for now. Horse bowmen, hopefully they'll be able to do their thing. Move out! Soldier! Scatter! Hear me! Scatter in the wind! Warrior! Horse bowmen! Leave the one breathing! Alright, lads. 
Heed my command and this should go all painlessly. Disobey and die. Hold the line at all costs. No retreat. No surrender. The enemy takes no prisoners. Hopefully the archers will be able to stay on the outside though and not charge right on in. This is great though because the horse archers are div dividing the army. Soldiers! Move! Um... Footmen. Um, alright, so they're completely split up now. Come on then, why is it right here in front of you? You're not gonna do anything. You're just gonna let us spit in your face like this. Oh wow, okay, okay, Felicia, I see what's going on here. Alright, I'm gonna send them on in. Hold! Cavalry, charge! Alright, not perfect. We'll take what we can get. Oh, wow, right in the face. That is not very, that is not very nice. That is actually quite rude. We're making swift progress with these guys though. And every single troop that I lose now, I am gonna replace them with giants. Although giants are not the best against archers, as you probably could tell already, the whites. Are not really big on archers at anyway, so they're real good against them. No, don't split up. Oh, wow, I saw that. Fight fiercely, lad! Earn your place! Amongst the hall of the drowned god! Oh, you son of a gun. I think victory is well within our grasp. Just kill them all already. Shouldn't be too difficult. Quite an easy task. Yeah, well done, boys. 40, 41 cash at least. 45 influence, though. 83, we do this. 135, see how see how fast we gain that? And 77 upgrades. My days! I will not say no. Although it is going to cost me the gold. And we'll recruit some of these guys. Thank you very much. I'll take all your loot as well. Oh, I should have bought some more mules. Okay, we'll, we'll drop by Lorne. Lorne is known for their... Um, <clears throat> how do I say this? Their breathing methods. They have quite, uh, quite the formidable troops. Look at that. I'll take them all, thank you. You don't have any... No, they don't have any mules. All right. Who could have some mules up here, though? Beyond the wall. Antlers Village. We'll march on over there. We'll, uh, we'll engage with any white army you see up here. But see how fast I gained that uh, 135 influence? It's the way to do it. Trust me. Beyond the wall is easy picking. Ooh. Wait, let's see. Five party sites for each town you control, which is zero at the moment. 5% experience from battles shared with uh, the troops in your party. Or 5% security per day while waiting in a town. No morale penalty for the recruiting prisoners. Okay. That is what I need. I should have brought more mules. I should have thought of this. My carrying capacity is 2,000. That is horrible. Horrible. 
the white armies though they can grow up to sizes of over a thousand units so they're it's really hit or miss oh they raided it oh come on okay we'll drop by hard home then we'll drop by hard home and we'll buy the mules we'll buy all the mules Back off, shut your mouth lad respect for going up and plundering beyond the wall though that 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 you know requires some balls I ain't gonna lie, I'll be the first one to admit. I'll buy so many mules, I'll be able to carry the world on my back. Can I? What's the closest troops? Ooh. Oh yeah, because we're part of the north now, so they're not that far away when we call them in. That's great. This is a castle that I really want though, Driftwood Hall. It's uh, run by the Skagusi. And it's so like, if you take it, uh, no, no kingdom is gonna even try and take it. And obviously the Skagusi is not, never gonna assemble an army and besiege it. Although I think it's 1800 Skagusi defending it. So it's a hard, it's a hard fought siege, but it's well worth it if you have enough men to do it. We're gonna save up our influence. We do not intend on wasting it. Trade. You have zero. My God. Where am I? Four wheel, eat his fur armor, thin armor, thin cloak. I mean, it would fit us here up beyond the wall, though. Oh, they have a tournament. Three lords with renowned fighting skill. Am I a part of that? Oh, that's a nice one. And it's only one we want. Oh, I love this. Thank you. Thank you, drowned good. We'll speed run this. 4v4, no problem. Might just give me the ho Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. I see what we're doing here. Oh, come on. Really? Thank you. Yada, ver uh, husband versus wife. Can't wait to stab her in the face. Come here, Yada. No escape from this. For all the times you've called me a fat coward, I am big boned. Why are you poking my horse? What has it ever done to you? Yeah, stop screaming. Nobody can hear you. Oh god. I don't think she liked that. Alright. Perfect. How much is that worth? 17,000. Yes, please. The skull sword is really nice. Alright. Good business. Thank you. I'll be on my way though, since you don't have a single mule. Are you kidding? Absolutely crazy. Not a single mule in the entirety of Hard Home. Antley Village, please be rebounded. Please be well again. I'll head on upwards, anyways. Recruit some more giants, fight another white army, and just master up as much influence as we can. I might even do a little bit, uh, as we said in the good old days, off cam mining. And just take down a bunch, bunch of whites and have like 2,000 influence by the time I come back. That way you don't have to join the boring things. It's great in an army. Well, good for him. All I want is some, some, some mules. The only horse village beyond the wall has been burnt to the ground. Is it by these? Oh, I swear to God. I swear to the gods. All the goods. Yeah. All right. One thing we could do, though, is we could call in a party. Not only will we have backup, 
So we would also have um, more carrying capacity. Or at least less penalty for overcapacity. Just calling these lads. Kala Luzar Party. Rodrik Forrester. And Barth Hurgan. We'll only have to split it three or four ways anyways. That's okay. That's okay. And if we don't encounter any big white parties, we'll just disband them. Although I did just spend 40 influence on them. My god. Did I scam myself? Three days away, three days and seven hours, and four days. Alright, Lorne. Have you get on some more joints for me? Yes, you have. Lovely. Now, White, have you mastered some more dead men for me? Sender by... St oh my god, they always keep attacking my... Poor village. I swear, if I was that village, I would have uh, revolted against my, uh, my my owner. He just let it, lets us burn. Looks like the Whites are just hiding, I swear. Once we uh, do not want to encounter them, they're going to be everywhere. Little sneaky scoundrels. And I don't want to take out the hideouts either, because if you take out the hideouts... We decrease the amount of whites spawning. And look at that. We have a huge white army right in front of us. A bit too much for us to take on though. So I am going to wait for some backup and just try and stalk them in the meantime. Just stay right behind them. Oh, looks like they spotted us. Don't go back into that. I'm going to try and bait them out. Oh, what happened to one of our... Oh my, I swear to God. I swear to God. Where are they going? Huh? I spent 45 influence and I get nothing? That's what I call an absolute scam. Okay, he actually arrived though, which is great. Because that means that we can uh, approach these guys. Oh, it's an head king himself. We're not playing games. Yeah, what are you want with Silva? Uh, you are dead. He, he, uh, so, so all this time, he didn't even want Westeros. He just wanted all our silver. Should have known. We use gold schmeckles, not silver, you idiot. Infantry. Talentless. All right, so uh, not all of our, our giants are on uh, in on this. We're just going to do the exact same strategy as before. However, we are going to try and time it a bit better this time. Hear me, lads. Alright, let's 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 have a gander. Let's have a gander. Get ready, man. Horse archers! Charge! Charge right at him. Ooh, you have a cool helmet. I like it. Look. Kala. Are they, why are they all the way over there? Are they waiting for us? Those sneaky sneaks. I mean, we could have, like, set up a camp. Had a nice little cookout. Still so gonna wait for these fools. Gonna wait patiently. Wait for your time. You know what, though? Actually, archers get up on this little hill here. Warriors, you get on over there. Looks like they're engaging with our horse archers. I want to call them back just so, so we can get this over with. However, if I do that now, they're just going to sprint straight on through the enemy lines and just get absolutely slaughtered. They are going to get slaughtered regardless, but I want them to do the maximum damage before they do. Come on. <laughs> out ah. Stick to me. Come here. Come here, lads. Fall back. Fall back. Wasting your time. You're wasting your lives. I'll just put them together with my other archers. That's what I'm gonna do. Warriors! Onwards! Get my cavalry in there. Hear me! Mountain archers! Move! Get these lads over here. They're not gonna notice my cavalry, right? Here they come. Get ready, lads. The Night King himself is approaching. 
Where is he? Where's that coward? Oh, there he is. Right there on the front line. I want to face the Night King, not all of these other plebs. Somewhere. Hold the line. Fill the gaps. Too slow. Are oh, you scrawny? Oh, that's a lot of them. That is a lot of them. Many of them! Do not waver, men! Men and giants alike! This is where we make our last stand! Uh, or they make their last stand. <laughs> Whichever. Wait, where's the Night King? Is he here? Amongst the bodies. Absolutely wrecked them, but where is the Night King? Should be here. <gasps> Nay, a fallen giant. He's probably slaughtered here somewhere. We'll let him live for now. Look at that 69 influence. That is beautiful work, lads. Ooh. Looks like we can encounter him again. Is the Night King gonna be here? Can we give him a little schmack in the face? That's what I want to do. I want to personally hand him a big old schmack to the gums. Just so wait here, lads. I'll give you a call when needed upon. Is he not with him? Oh, that is so boring. That is so boring. Jeez, Louise. Just playing around. My god, everything has to be so serious with you guys. Go get him, lads. Go get him. Don't run into the tree, though. This is going completely after plan, though. Look at this guy. Isolated. Dead. That's what he is. Oh god. Oh god. Yep! It's too many of them. Where's my cavalry man? Or should I say cowardly, cowardly man? Where, where's the cavalry? Excuse me? Oh yeah, he just blocked that, huh? Oh, come back here! Come back here and fight like a real man. Where are you running to? Back to your mama? You ain't got no place to run to. 67 influence. Look at that, we're just doubling, tripling, quadrupling. Beautiful. Look at all this. Look at all this. They actually give off great or, or good loot. If you look at the value here, the amount of like zombie hands, 600 per, we have 27, 13. Norse hatchet, not worth that much, but let's look at the value. 
we put, we picked up this one 10k for one beard act we have two bearded axes as well 8.4k so a little side note if you play this uh, this mod go and um, go and plunder the whites every once in a while you'll be an, a rich man by the end of it mark my words and uh talking about ends and all that this is where we're gonna end today's episode beyond the wall if you want to see more Vedic, the giant slayer you know exactly what to do leave a like leave a comment to earn your plays on the iron Iron Islands Halls? I don't know, it doesn't sound right. I just want you to help me out with the algorithm, it would mean a lot. Thank you, and subscribe to never miss a single Bannerlord video. And on that note, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, Vikings. <laughs>